Hello friends, it's March and we're finishing up a long and strange stretch of winter weather, at least here in New York City. Today I'm in sunny Arizona, getting myself ready for the spring season and bringing you along for my journey. Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City, but today I'm here in Tucson, Arizona. In today's video, we'll be discussing new beginnings for the spring and steps to get you jump started. Are you suffering from winter doldrums and lack of motivation or inspiration? I totally understand. I live in New York where the energy is very metal. That means it's hard, tough, and fast moving energy, very young. Partner that with the cold weather and anything stressful you have going on, and it can be paralyzing. Case in point, I skipped my February video. This fast moving young energy calls for balance, a more yin energy, a slower, softer, nurturing earth-like energy, which is why I chose Tucson. How much more earth can you get? The spring season in feng shui symbolizes new beginnings, but you don't need to go on vacation to set your intention for new beginnings. It's just important that you set your intention. I'll share what my personal intention is for the spring. Creativity. Creativity in the traditional sense. Art, music design, but also creative solutions and ideas to help my clients wherever they are in their home process. I'm dedicating to helping them envision their next perfect home, whether they're buying or selling. So what about you? Let's set your intention for the spring. Here are three steps. Step one. Set your intention. Make sure your intention is clear, concise, and most importantly, feels good in your body and makes you smile. Step two, let go and have fun. Trust what you want is on its way and that the help needed to achieve your goal will be made available to you. Be open to be inspired and write everything down freestyle. And step three, evaluate what has inspired you and implement what you need to do next. For example, I set my intention on creativity, and I have definitely had my fill here in Tucson. Tomorrow I'm headed back to New York City to put these ideas and inspiration into my business. If you need some help to jumpstart your spring, please contact me and I'll be happy to help you with some creative solutions, whether it's real estate related or not. Did you like this video? Please share with your friends, subscribe, or leave a comment or question below. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. And tune in next time for more feng shui real estate tips, not from Tucson, but New York City.